I've got the Exynos Galaxy Note 10 Plus here, running the latest version of Android as of recording this video. And today I want to show you how to install TWRP as your custom recovery on this smartphone. Now before you can begin, you're going to need to do some things ahead of time. First of all, this tutorial will require you that you already have Majisk installed. That means you have already gained root access to the Galaxy Note 10. And this will work on any of the Galaxy Note 10 series as long as it's in, it has the Exynos chipset. Just like my tutorial on unlocking the Galaxy Note 10. So again, we're going to start our smartphone with root access already done. And from here, we are going to install TWRP as well. And this whole process is actually very similar to gaining root access. So we're just going to be patching a TWRP build for your Galaxy Note 10 device. We're going to be patching it with Majisk, and from there we're just going to flash that with Odin like we have in the past. So we have our rooted Galaxy Note 10. I got the Plus version right here. We're also going to need to download, as mentioned, we're going to need to download the TWRP build for your specific device. I'm going to have download links for these TWR builds thanks to XDA developer GEITI94. And with those download links, you're going to be able to download your Twerp build for the Note 10, the Note 10 Plus, or the 5G variants as of right now. And we're going to need to download a zip file a multi the, the multi disabler tool and I'm gonna have download links for all of these files on my website androidexplain.com which is gonna be linked in the video description so with all of that done we can then open up Majisk Manager because we need to patch this TWRP build and we can do that by tapping on the install button next to the Majisk option up here. And this is again, this is very similar to what we did when we gained root access to it. We're going to tap on install. We're going to select and patch a file. And we are going to choose the tar file right here, which is our TWRP build. This is what we downloaded. Again, we're going to have a download link for the Note 10 the Note 10 Plus, and the two different 5G variants. So we're going to tap on that TWTAR file, and we're just going to wait for Majisk to patch the files in here. There are three files in this TAR file, and it's just going to patch those images, and it's going to output that file in the download in your internal storage as the file Majisk underscore patched dot t a r we then need to copy this file to our pc over usb cable because we're going to load that file up in with odin and flash it back to our device all right so i have copied that majisk patched file from the galaxy note 10 to the pc I have then opened up Odin in administrator mode. And I'm going to have all of these instructions in a step-by-step -step format. Again, that's very easy to follow on androidexplain.com. Again, you can find that link in the video description. With the file copied off the phone, I then need to boot the device into download mode, which again is going to be explained in the article and we're going to be staying in download mode with the device connected to the PC with the USB cable. You can see it's been added in Odin successfully. And we're just going to click on this AP file, browse 
and locate that TWRP build that we patched just earlier. We also want to go into the options tab and make sure that auto reboot is not checked. We want to reboot this on our own. And that's all we're going to do right here. We're just going to flash this small. This should be about a 100 megabyte file. I think it's 109 megabytes uh, when I checked. With all that done, we're just going to click on the start button on Odin. And we're going to let Odin flash these files to our device. We're going to wait until we get that pass. You can see it's flashed a VB meta file, a boot file, and a recovery file. And again, we just waited for Odin to pop up that pass message. Odin has just finished that flash. What we're going to do here is we're going to force the device to reboot by pressing and holding the side key or the power button and the volume down button for more than four seconds. As soon as we see the phone reboot, I'm going to let go of this volume down button and I'm going to be holding up the volume up button, which again will mean that I'm holding the power and the volume up buttons at the same time. We need to do this because we need to boot into TWRP instantly. And this is that key combo lets us boot into recovery. So here's this in action. So we're going to press and hold power and volume down, force it to shut down and reboot. Then we're letting go, holding power and volume up, and we're continuing to hold these two buttons as the device boots into recovery. It's actually going to boot us into TWRP since we just flashed that. As soon as we see the splash screen right there, we can let go of the power and volume buttons and we can swipe those arrows to the right just to get past here. If you notice that TWRP actually executes a script, which happened to me last time, if it executes a script, it will reboot automatically on its own. If that happens, you need to continue holding down the power and volume up buttons because again, we need to boot up into TWRP first. If we let it boot up into Android, it's going to overwrite our TWRP installed. So again, we need to boot up into recovery mode immediately after flashing TWRP with Odin. Once we are in TWRP, we're going to tap on the wipe option and we're going to tap on format data. We're going to type in YES right here and we're going to let the phone format the data for our device. From here we can tap the home button to go back to the home screen of TWRP. And now we need to flash that multi disabler file. You can connect the device to the PC with that USB cable again if you want, or if you already have it loaded on your SD card, either way. After the file is on our device, we're just going to tap on install, browse to where we have that file, tap on the zip file, and swipe the white arrows to the right to begin the installation. So we need to flash this to our device if we want to run TWRP. If you don't want to run TWRP, you don't have to flash it. Some will advise you to do that even if you're just running Majisk, but you don't have to. With that done, we can tap the home button to go back to the home screen. We can tap on reboot and then tap on system. You can choose to install the TWRP as a system app if you want or you can just tell it to not install. However, just like before, anytime we want to boot into Android and have Majisk, we need to hold those two buttons down. There is a way around that. I'm going to show you how to do that by using a custom kernel in a future tutorial because I know a lot of people are annoyed by having to hold those two buttons down. 
So I'll show you how to do that soon. The thing you have to remember is that we just formatted data whenever we did all this stuff. So we're going to lose all of our information. But not only that, this first boot cycle back into Android is going to take longer than normal. So just be patient during this boot process. I know even myself to this day, I can still feel the anxiety and the panic creep on during these long first boot cycles after we install a big mod on a device. And that's the reason why I do these videos. So you can see me following the same instructions on my actual device right along with you so that you know it actually works. And you can see we are booted right back into the Android activation screen. This is in a different language just because it was purchased in another country. If you've seen my previous tutorials, you already know that. It's very easy for me to switch this back to English. So I just don't want you to be worried that gaining or installing TWRP is going to change the language of your device. And this happens anytime I do a factory reset. So I'm just going to set this up real quick and I will be right back. So we are booted back up into Android. I went ahead and connected to Wi Fi and downloaded the Magisk Manager application from GitHub. Opened it up and it just needs to do some additional setup. So we're going to tap on OK. Going to run that setup and it's going to reboot. So when that happens, we need to get ready. Because before, you know, like normal, we need to have buttons pressed during boot up so we can still have Magisk loaded whenever we boot into Android. And again, I'm going to show you how to get around that in a future tutorial, hopefully this week, because it's just a custom recovery. Now that we have TWRP installed, it's going to be very easy to install a lot of popular modifications like custom kernels so now that we're back into Android I can just open up Magisk Manager again just to show you that we are back up to date we have the latest version of Magisk we have TWRP installed and I can show you how to boot into that. We boot into TWRP like we boot into recovery mode on the Galaxy Note 10 series. I have a separate tutorial on how to boot into recovery mode, but I can just show you how to do that real quick. It's the same as booting into Android with Magisk, but we just hold those buttons down longer. So we press and hold the power and volume up buttons after the device is booted off. We continue holding these two buttons down even after those three screens. And we continue holding those two buttons down until we get into TWRP. And from here, now that we have booted into TWRP, we can just boot into Android by going reboot and booting into system and again we don't have to press and hold those two buttons when we boot into Android if we boot into recovery first because that's technically what we're just doing whenever we hold these two buttons down we're loading into recovery so that recovery can quickly load Magisk and then take us to Android that's because of the Galaxy Note 10's removal of the RAM disk feature. And we're seeing this quite a lot in various Samsung devices.